Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to install WordPress on a Mac using MAMP, and we're going to be using MAMP Pro, but you can just install it with any uh, software that you're using to uh, run your server on your Mac, like XAMPP or uh, MAMP, just normal MAMP. So it's nice and easy. Uh, really, what you have to do is come to WordPress.org. Then you can go to download WordPress. The latest version as of recording this video is 3.8. And it takes you to this screen where you can just uh, click this download WordPress button right here. Or you can also download the tara.gz, which is uh, only 5.6 megabytes. So it might download a little bit faster. But generally, it downloads pretty quick anyway. So uh, to save some time, I already have it downloaded. And I have it uh, uh, uncompressed here. And it's on my desktop. So I have this folder WordPress. And let me get out of this view here, um, just like that. Cool. So inside of this folder, we have some stuff. There's also uh, a hidden .ht access file in here that you can't see because obviously you can't see hidden files without running a command on your Mac. So we have this uh, these files here, and what we're going to do is grab this entire WordPress folder, and I'm going to just move it into where I keep my sites. So I keep my sites in a folder called Sites, and then uh, the Level Up Touch sites are in Level Up. And I'm just going to drop it in here. Now, I could name this anything I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it as WordPress. Now, let's come to our MAMP software, and I'm just going to set up a new, a new host here. Um, Keep in mind that if you don't know how to do this, uh, we can certainly have other videos to show you how to set up this stuff. Uh, but this series is more about WordPress and less about MAMP Pro. So uh, you can see, sorry, I need to go inside of this folder. We have our new location is at, just at WordPress. Um, it's pointing to this folder. And I'm just going to click Apply. It's going to restart our servers. And that's cool. So really what we have to do before we can install WordPress, you'll notice if we go to our WordPress um, local host, which would just be WordPress import 8,888, it's going to give us this. There doesn't seem to be a WP config. We need this. Um, so it's going to ask you to create a WP config file. And, and then it's also going to ask us to have a database ready. So let's go ahead and create this WP config. And it's going to say, let's go. Let's, you need a database name, a database username, database password, host, and table prefix if you want. Uh, to, it says if you want to want, run more than one WordPress on a single database, which we don't hear because we're going to be keeping it basic. So let's go click this let's go and right away it asks us for this database information. And we haven't created a database yet so let's go ahead and do that. Um, in my PHP admin, uh, we can just go ahead and create a new database and I'm just going to prefix this with WP and then level up. So the name of this database is going to be WP underscore and then level up just like that. So we have our database, it's WP underscore level up. So let's come here and our database name is going to be WP underscore level up. Uh, username is root with map. The username is always root and the password is typically root. Although I've changed my password to RTC. Uh, I don't know why exactly. Um, it's not really for security reasons, just for customization. Um, so don't bother trying to steal this password for anything. This isn't a legitimate password that I use for anything. Uh, database host, we have local host and table prefixes WP underscore. Now, uh, I know in XAMPP, it's the password is just blank and then also for WAMP the password's just blank so root blank so if you're using either of those you can go ahead and try that if it uh, doesn't work with just root so let's go to click submit now it says uh, all right basically you've made it through this part of installation it's communicating with the database it's ready to install I mean if we were to come to our database here there's still nothing here so let's go ahead and click run the install and now what this is going to do is it's going to grab some information and create our site into the database. So the site is going to be level up tuts and the username, we can just make this be admin for now. And I'm just going to type in a weak password because um, this is not going live. However, you are going to be wanting to make your password not very weak. And this is really good about letting you know if it's weak or not by giving you this um, 
this color coded uh, signal here if your password is strong. And we're going to go ahead and say my email is just scott at leveluptuts.com. Okay and allow search engines to index the site. Now, this site's never going online, but if it were, we would want search engines to index the site because otherwise they're not gonna get to that information uh, to correctly list the site and rank it correctly. Uh, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and have search engines be able to index and look through your site. So let's click Install WordPress. And we get a success. And it's asking if I wanna save the password. Sure, I'll save my password. That's just a browser thing. And if I come into our database now, if we refresh, uh, let's come to my PHP My Admin, um, and then our WordPress level up, you'll see it's now populated with information about our site. And so not only is our site completely done, we can log in to the back end of the site. We can go to the front end of the site simply by just um, deleting this end of the URL here. So it just says WordPress. Um, and our port number. Now you can see here that this is the base default theme we have going on. It's got a sample page, uh, basically uh, hello world. This is what the latest version of WordPress looks like out of the box. Now if we come to our login page, we can add in our information, which is just admin and my non-strong password. Of course, your password should be strong again. Now let's click login. And you can see we are now in the WordPress admin site. Now WordPress has changed a lot in the past uh, couple of years. It changes all the time and it's usually for the best, well, usually always for the best. So uh, this might look a little bit different for you if you're logging on a year from now or two years from now or whatever, but the process is most likely very similar. You're downloading WordPress, you're making your database, you're connecting them and then you click install. So we have our site, it's just another WordPress site according to the tagline here, and we have our hello world text, which means we're ready to go. So WordPress is now installed and we're ready for the next video. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about what has happened now that we've installed the site and what this exactly means. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching and bye.